Hi, I'm Stan Carithney. I'm one of the locals, I think. I've been here for 28 years. Surely that makes me a local. Um, I used to be a musician. I've gave, given that away. I taught at uh, Frencham for, oh, it must have been 17, 18 years, Oxley College for 24 years, and settled in at 2006, became a, an art, a painter once again. And so my first exhibition was back in 2006. Uh, and in all that time, I had no studio. So uh, finally, I now have a studio. I've had this for two and a half years. I'm really proud of it. I won't mention the sink. We can walk to, oh, I'm having an exhibition in, in February. So it's only a couple of weeks away. Uh, the opening was, is on February 9th. And it'll be open from the 8th to the 13th, I think. So at the BDAS in Barrow. Uh, come on through, have a look at some of the artwork I have to offer. The uh, topic of the exhibition is Address Your Demons. Uh, why demons? I think, um, I think we should be responsible for our actions. And I think people that allay to demons is, is blaming an outside force. I had a motor car accident. I believe it's because of your bad driving. Some will say, oh, it's providence, it's, it's bad luck, it's the demons made me do it. So, um, and I think, uh, I think demons are culturally determined. Some cultures are far more affiliated with demons to others. I think since the, um, uh, since the development of the United States and the development of the democratic system, uh, you can make your way in the world and it's all to do with you. Uh, you're responsible for your actions. If you're poor, living in Los Angeles, it's your own fault. If you become a multimillionaire, well, you work really hard. It's not, uh, you don't blame the de demons for being wealthy or being poor. So that's, that's, the, that's, that's the theme of the, of the artwork. The, um, the demons have a powerful role in areas like Africa, Southeast Asia, South America, and, and I think to a degree in our society as well. Uh, when people become alcoholics, when people become drug addicts, people have a bit of bad luck, they lose money at, uh, at the races, they tend to blame luck, which is another form of demon, good demon, bad demon. Um, so the whole thrust of it is take, res take responsibility for your actions. If you drop a pencil, blame yourself for it. Don't say, oh, it fell out of my hand, it jumped out of my hand like some South Americans do. Uh, I, the mirror breaks, I've got seven years of bad luck. No, don't believe in that. You have control over your destiny. I don't, I don't believe in, uh, in luck. I don't believe in, in demons, angels or any of that. You can call me an atheist, but uh, I believe in self-fulfillment and self-control. Self can take, resp take respons responsibility for your own actions. And so some of the work I have, um, Possibly to a degree I have appropriated some ideas from other cultures like the South African, uh, uh, South African artists, uh, South American, Southeast Asians. Some of the images are possibly um, uh, similar to their images, but then I don't see any difference to going outside and drawing a picture of a tree or a picture of somebody else's picture. Um, it's, it's an input, it's a visual input, and so you appropriate it and you, you develop it. Picasso did it, I think. Van Gogh did it. Um, it's been, uh, musicians do it as well, they get ideas from other musicians and they, uh, they develop them. So uh, it's been an eight month project. I think I started about end of February last year. Uh, I had a bit of a hiatus during June when I went to, went to Europe for six weeks and then came back and continued with it and probably finished in the first or second week in December. Uh, I've got about 17 drawings, 11 large paintings, and oh, about 10 mediocre uh, type size paintings. We can uh, we can see some of them if you want. Uh, Tada! See no evil. With a lot of the artwork, I've cut back on the colour uh, because I think using a lot of colour, to my mind, is celebrating something, so I haven't used that much colour. Um, so uh, uh, 
the less colour there is, the more serious the work is to me, in my mind, at the time for the last for the last eight months. So, see no evil. Some of these is the struggle within, and some of my influences are Picasso. One of my favourite pa uh, painters is uh, Picasso Van Gogh. Uh, I've been I've been likened to be a little bit like Brett Whiteley sometimes. Uh, which I'll take that on board. Uh, but uh, I love Francis Bacon. He's influenced my work a little bit. So, uh, yeah, the struggle struggle within. And uh, there's another one here, once again, a struggle within. Um, probably, uh, I think a struggle is is far more complex than what I've probably... Uh, portray them, but uh, but that's the that's the gist that's the gist the thrust of the exhibition. Thank you very much. <laughs>